G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and today we're asking the question, should you buy the Osmo Action 1 in this day and age, 2022? You already may know the answer, but if you're looking at this video, you're pondering, you're wondering why, and I wanna to help today. Now, the other day, I got my footage off my GoPro Hero 10, stuck it in my Final Cut Pro, and it didn't work, it froze, it was a mess, and I created a video about that, solving that problem. However, in the flurry of it all, I needed an action camera, and so I went back to the Osmo Action 1 and this is a great camera. I really love this camera. This camera shoots up to 4K 60 frames a second, 240 frames a second in 1080p, 12 megapixel still photos. It's on a one by 2.3 inch CMOS sensor. It has up to 3200 ISO, rock steady for its stabilization, time lapse, hyperlapse, slow motion modes, waterproof up to 11 meters without a housing and a touch screen displays on the front and back. But it's discontinued. They don't make it anymore. There's none rolling off the production line. And why would they? Because they've since updated it. Now, when things get discontinued, other interesting things happen, which, for example, the price goes up. So this camera started at $349 when it first came out, and it dipped to $269, and now you can buy it. The cheapest I could find it in American dollars is $350. It's now, after being discontinued, will cost you more to get this camera than it did when it first came out. That's madness, isn't it? Now, you may think, oh, that's a really good reason to buy it. But one of the reasons these are in high demand is because DJI's Action 2 did not blow up the world like we all thought it would and hoped it would. And so they've kind of been floundering a little bit and people have like been going back to the fact of, give me a traditional sized camera. And I love the Osmo Action because it's a great camera. Now it's competitor, the GoPro Hero 10, which actually its competitor was the GoPro Hero 9, but the most recent GoPro is the Hero 10. This you can pick up for $349, right? The same price you can get this camera than this. And this camera, the GoPro Hero 10, is a better camera has better specs, takes better video, does better stills, has better tech in it, it's more modern and updated, it's a better camera. And I know what you're saying, how dare you? But I used to be DJI Osmo Action loyal to the core and the GoPro Hero 10 has won me over. Yeah. Now you're asking, what about the freezing issues? It's frozen on me three times. Once when I was doing the initial turn on and then twice on a waterfall trip which I think is actually connected to the latest firmware update, which I've backdated, hence the video you can go and look at. What about the overheating? Well, my experience is if you keep this in a place where it's ventilated, you can shoot for a long time on high video specs and without it blowing up, catching on fire or setting fire to your body. Now, I've done a couple of videos on that too, and there'll be a playlist at the end of this video called Action Cams, and you can just have a look at all the stuff I've done around this camera. Now, in six months time, in September, this camera will be superseded most likely by the GoPro Hero 11. When that happens, this camera, the 10, will re be reduced in price again. Now, at the moment, what's funny, about four months after GoPro released the camera, they drop the price again. So this is a currently available at $349, which is a steal for what you get. It's amazing and priced on the same level as the Osmo Action 1, which is discontinued. You can still buy it. They're just getting rid of all the old cameras that they have lying around with whoo, dust on them. Throw into the mix the Action 2 camera. Now, I don't have one. I chose not to buy it. I've done a video about why I didn't want to buy it, which was around the cost. The cost was exorbitant. So there's two options, really, with the Action 2. There's the battery module, which all up cost $399 when it first came out. And then there's the dual screen, which all up cost $519 when it first came out. But they've been reduced. And so the extended battery module is now $349, which is $50 bucks less. And the dual screen is now $489, which is $30 bucks less, if my math serves me correctly. So the Action 2 is cheaper than it was, and I think as time goes on, that, that price will continue to calm down and go down because the trends would say over the last three months that that's what's been happening. Now, what about the cheapest option on the market, the cheapest action camera of them all, the Insta360 GO 2? 
maybe that's the solution you're looking for. It comes in at $299, so it's cheaper than all the others. This is US dollars, of course, um, and it has a different take on action cameras. So if you're after this sort of different take, then it might be for you. It has 3K, so it shoots 3K, 9 megapixel stills, 1080p at 120 for slow motion video. It's waterproof up to 4 meters, has built-in 64 gig flash memory drive, so you can't add an SD card to it. it has flow state, which is 6-axis gyro stabilization. It has app support and one-tap time-lapse hyperlapse videos. Now, it's hard to compare that camera to your traditional action camera, but as the years will roll on, we will be redefined in what we think about and how we understand and how we use action cameras. For years, this has been the standard. It will not be the standard as we move forward. I can nearly, nearly guarantee it because of all the developments in tech and the smaller they're putting in. And if it's smaller, it's more usable, it's more portable, and you can do more creative things with it. It's fascinating the way things go, isn't it? The Ralph of two or three days ago didn't realize that Insta360 had just brought out like basically the moment he pressed stop on the recording, the Insta360 ONE RS. That's an updated version of the Insta360 ONE R, which was absolutely and totally disappointing. And there's a couple of videos on my channel exploring why that was the case. So it's interesting that they're trying to update that. They've updated it by an improved core processor to make it work much faster. They've added three microphones. They've got a new set of lenses to complement the camera itself. And they've got a larger upgraded battery. And so there's another option for you right now. When you thought you had it all sussed, there's another option. Now the 4K boost lens that comes with it is a half inch sensor, that's pretty nice. It has advanced HDR capabilities, has what's called flow state, which gives you nice silky smooth footage. It shoots 48 megapixels. Now, my question is, have they updated the app? Because the app is where that camera really, really falls over. That's the big one they have to answer. So the RS with the 4K lens will cost you $299.99. That's actually really quite affordable. So yay for that. But that's about where it stops being awesome and starts going downhill. The RS with the 4K lens um, with the 360 costs you $549. That's called the twin edition. That's okay if you need specifically a 360 degree camera and if that's what you're after there's probably better options out there now to buy even from insta360 themselves and then the rs that comes with three camera mods being the 4k the 360 and the one inch sensor will set you back a whopping $847.98. Now, what you have to take into consideration is all the things that didn't work on the first version and weigh up whether they're gonna work on the second version. And to do that, you need to watch some good YouTubers who give you an honest appraisal. Now, there's a ton of videos out there at the moment that just introduce you to the specs like I've just done, boring. But go and find someone who runs it through its paces, who is an expert in action cameras, and can tell you if it's actually worth the upgrade. Because I am not inspired to move toward it at all. So the question remains, should you buy the Osmo Action 1 in this day and age? You've seen the price differentials and some of the spec differentials in this video. There are still a lot of people that are so disappointed that the Action 2 didn't blow them away by making a much better version of the Action 1 that changed, changed trajectories. And my thinking, as I've said to a lot of people, is I think the way of the future is a mod camera in action cam format. So it's rugged, it's tough, it's not delicate. You can put it through its paces and almost destroy it to get footage, but it doesn't feel fragile or like it's going to break. I think that's unavoidable. I hope it's not, but like most of us, we get comfortable with what we know and we want to hold on to that rather than stuffing everything around and having to buy a whole bunch of new accessories and batteries and new cameras and all that gear. One of the challenges with the Osmo Action is that it doesn't, um, isn't making any more new accessories. So where new accessories are being developed for cameras like the GoPro 10 and like the Action 2, they're not being made for the older cameras. So what is on the market is what will be on the market and the totality of what you have to choose from. But it's a beautiful, great little camera. So which one best fits your needs? 
my encouragement to you would be, unless you're absolutely sold and your heart is invested in this little camera, you don't need it. Future proof, get a more modern camera with better tech in it because they get updated all the time. Every year a new camera comes out, DJI not so much as GoPro, but GoPro leading the way with developing new models and putting new things out on an annual basis. So if you want links to any of these things to check them out for yourself, they're in the description below. The prices, as you said, were present and accurate as of today. And if I can be of any further assistance as you battle through which is the best camera for you, please put a comment down below ask a question, say good day, give us a bit of encouragement, tell me if you like the hat. If you do, you can get one. You can buy one of these hats down below. If you want to buy me a coffee, that'd be amazing. If you want to join the channel, be epic. You've probably already signed off, but if you haven't, thank you. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Now it's competitor. Oh, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> this one's discontinued now too. <laughs>